Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. Happy Ramadan. Let's continue a reading of Sahih International Translation of the Quran. I already finished it, but we're going in order for the channel, obviously. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are in Surah 6, Al-An'am, number 37. And they say, Why has not a sign been sent down to him from his Lord? Say, indeed, Allah is able to send down a sign. But most of them do not know. And there is no creature on or within the earth, or bird that flies with its wings, except that they are communities like you. We have not neglected in the register a thing. Then unto their Lord they will be gathered. But those who deny our verses are deaf and dumb within darknesses. Whomever Allah wills, he leaves stray. And whoever he wills, he puts him on a straight path. Say, have you considered if there came to you the punishment of Allah, or there came to you the hour? Is it other than Allah you would invoke, if you should be truthful? No, it is him alone you would invoke. And he would remove that for which you invoked him if he willed. And you would forget what you associate with him. And we have already sent messengers to nations before you, O Muhammad. Then we seize them with poverty and hardship, that perhaps they might be humble them oh, oh sorry, that perhaps they might humble themselves to us. Then why when our punishment came to them, did they not humble themselves? But their hearts became hardened, and Satan made attracted to them that which they were doing. So when they forgot that by which they had been reminded, we opened to them the doors of every good thing until, when they rejoiced in that which they were given, we seized them suddenly, and they were then in despair. So the people that committed wrong were eliminated, and praise to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Say, have you considered, if Allah should take away your hearing and your sight and set a seal upon your hearts, which deity other than Allah could bring them back to you? Look how we diversified the verses, then they still turn away. Say, have you considered if the punishment of Allah should come to you unexpectedly or manifestly? Will any be destroyed but the wrongdoing people? And we send not the messengers except as bringers of good tidings and warners. So whoever believes in reforms, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. But those who deny our verses... The punishment will touch them for their defiant disobedience. Say, O Muhammad, I do not tell you that I have the dispositories containing the provision of Allah, or that I know the unseen, nor do I tell you that I am an angel. I only follow what is revealed to me. Say, Is the blind equivalent to the seeing? Then will you not give thought? And warned by it, i.e. the Quran, those who fear that they will be gathered before their Lord for, beside, for them besides him will be no protector and no intercessor, that they might become righteous. And do not send away those who call upon their Lord morning and afternoon, seeking his countenance. Not upon you is anything of their account, and not upon them is anything of your account. So were you to send them away, you would then be of the wrongdoers. And thus, we have tried some of them through others that they, i.e. the disbelievers, might say, Is it those whom Allah has favored among us? Is not Allah most knowing of those who are grateful? And when those come to you who believe in our verses, say, Peace be upon you. Your Lord has decreed upon himself mercy, that any of you who does wrong out of ignorance, and then repents after that, and corrects himself. Indeed, he is forgiving and merciful. And thus do we detail the verses, and thus the way of the criminals will become evident. Say, indeed, I have been forbidden to worship those you invoke besides Allah. Say, I will not follow your desires, for I would then have gone astray, and I would not be of the rightly guided. Say, Indeed, I am on clear evidence from my Lord, and you have denied it. I do not have that for which you are impatient. The decision is only for Allah. 
He relates the truth, and he is the best of deciders. Say, if I had that for which you are impatient, the matter would have been decided between me and you. But Allah is most knowing of the wrongdoers, and with him are the keys of the unseen. None knows them except him, and he knows what is on the land and in the sea. Not a leaf falls but that he knows it, and no grain is there within the darkness of the earth, and no moist or dry thing but that it is written in a clear record. And it is he who takes your souls by night and knows what you have committed by day. Then he revives you therein, i.e. by day, that a specified term may be fulfilled. Then to him will be your return, then he will inform you about what you used to do. And he is the subjugator over his servants, and he sends over you guardian angels until, when death comes to one of you, our messengers, i.e. angels of death, take him, and they do not fail in their duties. Then they, i.e. his servants, are returned to Allah, their true Lord, unquestionably. His is the judgment, and he is the swiftest of accountants. Say, who rescues you? from the darkness of the land and the sea, when you call upon him imploring aloud and privately, if he should save us from this crisis, we will surely be among the thankful. Say, is it Allah who saves you from it and from every distress? Then you still associate others with him. Say he is the one able to send upon you affliction from above you, or from beneath your feet, or to confuse you. So you become sex, and make you taste the violence of one another. Look how we diversify the signs that they might understand. But your people have denied it. While well, it is the truth, say I am not over you a manager, i.e. authority. For every news, i.e. happening as a finality, and you are going to know. And when you see those who engage in offensive discourse concerning our verses, then turn away from them until they enter into another conversation. And if Satan should cause you to forget, then do not remain after the reminder with the wrongdoing people. And those who fear Allah are not held accountable for them, i.e. the disbelievers, at all, but only for a reminder that perhaps they will fear him. And leave those who take their religion as amusement and diversion, and whom the worldly life has deluded. But remind with it, i.e. the Quran, lest a soul be given up to destruction for what it earned. It will have other than Allah no protector and no intercessor, and if it should offer every compensation, it would not be taken from it, i.e. that soul. Those are the ones who are given to destructive, destruction for what they have earned. For them will be a drink of scalding water and a painful punishment because they used to disbelieve. Say, shall we invoke instead of Allah that which neither benefits us nor harms us and be turned back on our hills after Allah has guided us? We would then be like one whom the devils entice to wander upon the earth confused. Well, he has companions inviting him to guidance, calling, Come to us. Say, indeed, the guidance of Allah is the only guidance, and we have been commanded to submit to the Lord of the worlds, and to establish prayer and fear him. And it is he to whom you will be gathered, and it is he who created the heavens and earth and truth, and the day, i.e., whenever he says, Be, and it is, his word is the truth. And his is the dominion on the day the horn is blown. He is the knower of the unseen and the witnessed, and he is the wise, the acquainted. And mention, O Muhammad, peace be upon you, when Abraham said to his father, Azar, Do you take idols as deities? Indeed, I see you and your people to be in manifest error. And thus did we show Abraham the realm of the heavens and the earth, that he would be among the certain in faith. So when the night covered him with darkness, he saw a star. He said, 
this is my Lord. But when it's set, he said, I like not those that set, i.e. disappear. And when he saw the moon rising, he said, this is my Lord. But when it's set, he said, unless my Lord guides me, I will surely be among the people gone astray. And when he saw the sun rising, he said, this is my Lord, this is greater. But when it's set, he said, O oh, my people, indeed I am free from what you associate with Allah. Indeed I have turned my face, i.e. self, toward he who created the heavens and the earth, inclining towards truth, and I am not of those who associate others with Allah. And his people argued with him. He said, Do you argue with me concerning Allah? Well, he has guided me, and I fear not what you associate with him. I and I will not be harmed unless my Lord should some should will something. My Lord encompasses all things in knowledge. Then will you not remember? And how should I fear what you associate? Well, you do not fear that you have associated with Allah, that for which He has not sent down to you any authority. So which of the two parties has more right to security, if you should know? They who believe and do not mix their belief with injustice, those will have the security and they are rightly guided. And that was our conclusive argument which we gave Abraham against his people. We raise by degrees whom we will, indeed your Lord is wise and knowing. And we gave to him, i.e. Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, all of them we guided, and Noah we guided before, and among his descendants David, and Solomon, and Job, and Joseph, and Moses and Aaron. Thus do we reward the doers of good, and Zechariah, and John, and Jesus, and Elias, and all were of the righteous, and Ishmael, and Elisha, and Jonah, and Lot, and all of them we preferred over the worlds, and some among their fathers, and their descendants, and their brothers, and we chose them, and we guided them to a straight path. That is the guidance of Allah, by which He guides whomever He wills of His servants. But if they had associated others with Allah, then worthless from them would be whatever they were doing. Those are the ones to whom we gave the scripture and authority and prophethood. But if they, i.e. the disbelievers, deny it, then we have entrusted it to a people who are not therein disbelievers. Those are the ones whom Allah has guided, so from their guidance take an example. Say, I ask of you for it, i.e. this message, no payment. It is not but a reminder for the world. And they did not appraise Allah with true appraisal. When they said, Allah did not reveal to human being anything, say, who revealed the scripture that Moses brought as a light and guidance to the people? You Jews make it into pages, disclosing some of it and concealing much. And you were taught that which you knew not, neither you nor your fathers. Say, Allah revealed it, then leave them in their empty discourse, amusing themselves. And this is a book which we have sent down, blessed and confirming what was before it, that you may warn the mother of cities, i.e. Mecca, and those around it, those who believe in the hereafter, believe in it, and they are maintaining their prayers. And who is more unjust than one who invents a lie about Allah, or says, it has been inspired to me, while nothing has been inspired to him? And one who says, I will reveal something like what Allah revealed. And if you could but see when the wrongdoers are in the overwhelming pangs of death, while the angels extend their hands, saying, Discharge your souls. Today you will be awarded the punishment of an extreme humiliation for what you used to say against Allah, other than the truth, and that you were, toward his verses, being arrogant. It will be said to them, And you have certainly come to us alone, i.e. individually, as we created you the first time, and you have left whatever we bestowed upon you behind you, and we do not see you with your intercessors, which you claimed that they were among you associates of Allah. It has all been severed between you 
I'm lost from you is what you used to claim. Indeed, Allah is the clever, the cleaver of grain and date seeds. He brings the living out of the dead and brings the dead out of the living. That is Allah. So how are you deluded? He is the cleaver of daybreak and has made the night for rest and the sun and moon for calculation. That is the termination of the exalted in might, the knowing. And it is he who placed for you the stars that you may be guided by them through the darkness of the land and sea. We have detailed the signs for a people who know. MashaAllah fam, hope you learned something. Ramadan Mubarak.